Hello, dear students. Today we continue speaking about the environmental issues. And today we are dealing with lesson five, problems and solutions. And I think we are ready to start. To begin with, let's check your knowledge of geography. Have a look at these flags. Can you name the countries which hide behind them? If you need time, you may stop the video Take uh, some minutes to think about the names of these countries and come back to check. So where shall we begin? Let's start from here. Blue, white and red. And that is the flag of France. Next to France, an easy one, the UK flag. Let's try this one. Do you know red, white, and red flag? It's Austria. And next to Austria, you can find Germany. Okay, what about this one? That was Switzerland. And here, please don't make a mistake. It's not Russia, it's Luxembourg. And we are left with four crosses. Let's start from this one. That is, by the way, the oldest flag in the world, officially recorded. And this one belongs to Denmark. If we add to the flag of Denmark some blue color, we will get the flag of Norway. Blue cross and white background makes Finland. And the last but not least is Sweden. What do these countries have in common? Can you answer the question? Let's go to your manuals, page 72 and exercise 1a, to find the answer to this question. These countries are the world's 10 most green clean air, climate conscious countries, according to the 2020 Environmental Performance Index, or EPI for short, developed by Yale University, Yale Center for Environmental Law and Policy, and Columbia University, Center for International Earth Science Information Network, in collaboration, with the World Economic Forum and the Joint Research Center of the European Commission. The index grades each country, 180 in all from Albania to Zimbabwe, on 32 key sustainability indicators. But what about the dirtiest countries in the world? Can you guess which make the top five and why are they considered the dirtiest ones? Have a look at these names. Can you choose which will be the top five dirtiest in the world? Again, if you need time to think, you may stop the video and come back to check the answers a little bit later. Ready to check? This list is made every year, and we've got the data for 2021 dirtiest countries in the world list. According to 2021 EPI ranking list, the fifth place belongs to Côte d'Ivoire with a rating of 25.8. The fourth comes Sierra Leone, 25.7. Number three is Afghanistan with the rank of 25.5. The second dirtiest in the world is Myanmar, 25.1. And the dirtiest one is Liberia, 22.6. Why are these countries considered the dirtiest in the world? That is because their policies have nothing to do with ecological improvements. They don't take any actions to stop air pollution, 
water pollution, soil pollution, and they invest nothing into their industries to make them greener. And what about countries which do much better than the previous ones? Let's continue with your books. Exercise 2A, page 73. We are going to read about three countries which take much higher positions in this list. And still, there will be some problems. What are the crucial, do you remember this word? Crucial, most important. What are the crucial environmental issues the country is facing from the text? How do they affect the biodiversity of the country? What actions does the government take to change the situation for the better? So the first country we are going to read about is the United States of America. It ranks 24. In the last years, the USA has been facing record-breaking temperatures leading to the biggest threats to some endangered species. One of these is the vaquita porpoise. Check out the picture. With a population of a dozen individuals remaining, the government failed to protect them from poachers. Do you remember who poachers are? They are illegal hunters. From poachers and illegal fishing, putting the vaquitas at risk of becoming extinct in the near future. Despite the rising awareness of the problem and a great number of climate activists, there is little chance for climate change to slow down as the amount of greenhouse gas emissions reached a record high. Apart from that, toxic chemicals PFAS, это те газы, которые у нас содержатся, например, в аэрозольных баллонах, which are linked to numerous diseases, have been found in soil, food, and water. Millions of Americans are believed to be drinking water contaminated with PFAs. On the other side, a lot of action has been taken to reduce plastic pollution. The California Circular Economy and Plastic Pollution Reduction Act aims to make the manufacturers and sellers responsible for reducing the amount of waste and making the rest biodegradable or recyclable. If the plan succeeded, plastic waste could be reduced by 75% by 2030. If you need, you may stop the video and reread the text again in your books. Do you remember the questions you need to answer? What are the crucial environmental issues the United States is facing? How do these issues affect the biodiversity of the country? What actions does the government take to change the situation for the better? And we are moving to the next text. And text B is about Australia. Its rank is number 13. Global warming, deforestation, agriculture clearing and overgrazing are threatening to the biodiversity of Australia. Record heat and drought across Australia caused widespread bushfires. Check out. Bushfires that destroyed natural habitats of many species, adding 40% of them, I'm sorry, adding 40 of them to the list of endangered species. Extreme temperatures led to river draining and mass fish deaths in the Murray-Darling Basin. Murray and Darling are rivers in Australia, in the southeast of Australia. Clearing activi activities for agricultural land and deforestation led to land degradation. It may result in famine, forced migration, or even war. Intensive agriculture is affecting Australia's coastline as each year almost 19,000 tons of phosphorus and 141,000 tons of nitrogen are released into rivers flowing to the coast. Although Australia's economy and population are growing faster 
than in most other developed countries. The country plans to reduce emissions, increase energy productivity, and improve the health of soils and the environment by 2030 through direct action policies. The $2.55 billion fund is going to invest in low emission technologies development and other action taken by businesses and the community. Again, if you need time to answer the questions presented before the text, you may stop the video, check out the information about Australia for the second time, and join us in reading text C, which is about Belarus. And this country ranks as number 49. According to the rating, Belarus does really well in protecting ecosystems and endangered species. Specially protected natural areas play a crucial role in protecting the biodiversity of the country. About 9% of the country's area is natural reserves, parks, and wildlife sanctuaries, and the areas continue to grow. Unfortunately, the ecological situation leaves much to be desired. Leaves much to be desired, as As Belarus is one of the countries which suffered from the consequences of the Chernobyl catastrophe. About a million people still live in the areas affected by the radioactive contamination, and nearly 10% of Belarusian territory is polluted by cesium-137. The environment of the country will continue to be negatively influenced in the future. Belarus lags behind other European countries in managing waste disposal. About 1,500 types of waste are produced in Belarus, and most of it is sent to landfills. However, the government has taken some steps in improving the situation. Private businesses are now involved in creating a new cycle of waste management. Containers for collecting paper and plastics were placed in the streets and advertising campaigns were run to promote reusing and recycling materials. All of these contributed to doubling of the recycling rate, which is now around 23%. So, do you need time to check out the text one, once again and to find the answers to the questions? I remind you that you've got three questions. You can see them on your screens right now. Are you ready to answer these questions? Have you, find, have you found all the answers to them? What are the crucial environmental issues the country is facing? The United States deals with the record-breaking temperatures leading to dying out of some species they face contamination of soil, food, and water. Australia fights with deforestation, agricultural clearing, overgrazing, bushfires from record heat and drought. Belarus suffers from the consequences of the Chernobyl catastrophe and lags behind in managing waste disposal. How do these problems affect the biodiversity of the country? In the United States, some endangered species are at risk, like the vaquita purpose, which suffers not only from high temperatures and water pollution, but also from poachers and illegal fishing. Australia's flora and fauna suffer from wildfires or bushfires, which rewrite the Red Book of the continent. Do you remember what the Red Book is? That is the list of endangered species in a country which may die out in the near future. According to the EPI rating, Belarus does really well in protecting ecosystem and endangered species. What actions does the government take to change the situation? The U.S. government takes a lot of action to reduce plastic pollution. 
If the plan succeeded, plastic waste could be reduced by 75% by 2030. Can you translate this sentence? Do you see our conditional to here? Второй тип условных предложений. Соответственно, мы его переводим через частицу бы, и он у нас обозначает нереальное настоящее. Если бы план преуспел, уровень загрязнения пластиком мог бы быть сокращен на 75% к 2030 году. Australia invests in low emission technologies development to reduce emissions, increase energy productivity and improve the health of soils and the environment by 2030. In Belarus, grows the number of natural reserves and wildlife sanctuaries. Private businesses are involved in creating a new cycle of waste management. Waste containers were placed in the streets and advertising campaigns were run to promote reusing and recycling materials. What can be done by people by young people like you. There are different programs and you can find different examples in the internet if you are really interested in them. Or you can find some ideas from different books. Like for example, the one presented by Macmillan Topics in the book on environment. It gives some ideas for projects which can be run by school children. For example, you can start environmental study. Choose an area in your town, city or village. Study it for a week. Find out about its history, its problems, the good things about it. And you can make a presentation at school. Or you can check out fast food and slow food. You can find a recipe for making a milkshake or ice cream. You can list the ingredients, find the products in a supermarket, and list the continents from these products. How many chemicals can you find on the list? You can make your own animal protection t-shirts. What's your favorite wild animal? How can you protect it? Can you make up a slogan and design a t-shirt for your animal? If possible, you can even start an environmental fashion show with your friends. You can protect the environment by choosing the place which needs protection. What's the problem with this place? Can you find any solution? Who can help? You can design a poster to advertise your campaign with photos, drawings, and slogans. You can make a season's diary for spring, summer, fall, or winter. What is going to happen? What does happen? So keep an environmental diary, write your predictions, and then put down the reality. You can check out the following items. Plants, animals, birds, temperature, weather, and others. You can use it to make a plan for your diary. And the last idea is to make a research project. You can choose a plant, animal, or piece of nature like a river, a park, or some other. You can find everything you can about it. And you can use this information to write part of an environmental tourist guide. You can make photos, interviews, texts, drawings, anything. So that is the last for you to think about it, to think about. Is there any project you are really interested in? Would you like to join any of them? If yes, then which one? And who? can help you to do this. So that's it for today.